So in this video, we will deal with some applications of derivatives. So let's see question number one. The side of a cube increases at a rate of 12 meters per second. Find the rate at which the volume of the cube increases when the side of the cube is 4 meters. So we have here a cube. with a side of 4 meters now we will call this side as A now in the question they say that the rate of the side of the cube increases by 12 meters per second now whenever they say the rate they mean that you will divide by time so when they say the rate of the side, it means you'll take the side and divide it by time. Whenever they say the rate of the volume, it means you'll take the volume divided by time. So in the question, they want the rate at which the volume of the cube increases. This means that they want dv over dt. Now what do we know? We know that the volume of a cube is the side cube. It means that you'll take a cube. So this is the formula for the volume. We will derive the volume with respect to the side. And we will call this V over A. Now when you derive this, you'll get 3A squared. Now how can you get dv over dt? Well, to get dv over dt, we will take dA over dt multiplied by dv over dA. Because when you cancel out the dA and the dA, you'll finally have dv over dt. So dA over dt is given as 12 multiplied by dv over dA, which is given as 3a squared, which we got. Now we will substitute a with the side which we have here. So we'll have here 12 multiplied by 3, 4 squared. So finally we will get dv over dt as 576 meter cube per second. Now the unit is meter cube per second because the unit of volume is meter cube and the unit of time is second. Now this question is just like the previous one but a bit different. So we have the volume of a cube decreases at a rate of 10 meters per second and the rate at which the side of the cube changes when the side of the cube is 2 meters. So we have a cube here. With a side of 2 meters. Now we'll call this side A. Now in the question they're saying that the volume decreases at a rate of 10 meters per second. Now whenever they say decrease, take the rate as negative. And whenever they say increase, take the rate as positive. So in this case, we'll take the rate as negative. Now in the question, they are saying that they want the rate at which the side of the cube changes. Now how can we find this? Now we know that the volume of the cube equals to a cube. So we will derive the volume with respect to the side. So we'll have here dv over dA as when you derive this, you'll get 3a squared by using the power rule. We also know that dv over dt 
is equal to dA over dt multiplied by dV over dA. Now dV over dt we have as negative 10 equals to dA over dt which we are looking for multiplied by dV over dA which is 3A squared. Now to get dV, dA over dt we will divide by 3A squared both sides. So we will get dA over dt as negative 10 divided by when you substitute the a or the side with 2 here we will have 3 multiplied by 2 squared. So finally we will have dA over dt as negative 5 over 6 meter per second. Now for question number 3, the radius of a circle increases at a rate of 2 meters per second. Find the rate at which the area of the circle increases when the radius is 5 meters. So we have here a circle with a radius of 5 meters. What else do we have? We have here the rate of the radius given as 2 meters per second. What do they want? They want the rate at which the area of the circle increases. Now what else do you know? We know that the area of the circle equals to pi r squared. So now we will derive the area with respect to the radius. So when you derive this, we'll get dA over dr, which is the derivative of pi r squared, which is 2 pi r. Because you'll use here the power rule, you'll take 2 and multiply it by the coefficient and subtract from the 2, 1, which will give us 2 pi r. Now what else do we know? We know that dA over dt equals to dA over dr multiplied by dr over dt. So when you cancel the dr and the dr, you'll have dA over dt, which is this. Now we'll substitute the values. dA over dr we have here is 2 pi r multiplied by dr over dt, which is 2. So the radius is given in the question as 5. So we'll substitute the radius 5, so we'll have 2 pi 5 multiplied by 2, which will finally give us 20 pi. This here is dA over dt. And the units of this is meter squared per second. Because the unit of area is meter squared and the unit of time is second. For question number four, the radius of a sphere decreases at a rate of three meters per second. Find the rate at which the surface area decreases when the radius is ten meters. So we have here a sphere. with a radius of 10 meters. We also have the rate at which the radius decreases given as 3 meter per second. What do you know? We know that when something decreases we'll take the rate as negative and when it increases we will take the rate as positive. So here we will take it as negative. Now how can we get the rate at which the surface area decreases? Now to get this, we first know that the area is 4 pi r squared. This is the area of the sphere. So we will derive the area with respect to the radius in order to be able to solve this question. So we will have here dA over dr as when you derive this you'll get 8 pi r. Now what else do we know? We know that dA over dt is equal to dA over dr multiplied by dr over dt. 
So now we'll just substitute the values. So we'd have here dA over dt is equal to dA over dr, which is 8 pi r multiplied by dr over dt, which is negative 3 meters per second. So now we'll substitute the radius, which we have in the question as 10. So we'd have here 8 pi 10 multiplied by negative 3. So when we multiply this, we will get negative 240 pi, and the unit will be meter squared per second. For question number 5, the radius of a sphere increases at rate of 1 meter per second, and the rate at which the volume increases when the radius is 20 meters. So we have here a sphere. with a radius of 20 meters. Now the rate of the radius increasing is given as 1 meter per second. So how can we find the rate at which the volume increases? Now do you know? We know that the volume of a sphere equals to 4 pi r cubed divided by 3. So now we will divide the volume with respect to the radius. So we'll have here dv over dr as we'll take the 3 and multiply it by 4 to get 12 pi r. You'll subtract from the 3 1, so you'll have 12 pi r squared divided by 3. Now the 3 and the 12 will cancel out, so we'll have here 4 pi r squared as the derivative. So finally we'll have dv over dr as 4 pi r squared. Let us continue. They want dv over dt. In order for us to get dv over dt, we must multiply dr over dt multiplied by dv over dr. So to get dv over dt, we'll take dr over dt, which we got as 1, or which we have as 1, multiplied by dv over dr, which we got as 4 pi r squared. So we will multiply 1 by 4 pi. r is given as 20, so we'll take 20 squared. So finally, we will have dv over dt, with the rate at which the volume increases as when we calculate this, we will have here 1600 pi. And the units will be meter cube per second. Now, what if we have a sphere and they want the radius of the sphere? How can we get this? Well, let us see what we have in the question. We have the rate of the radius increasing as 9 centimeters per second. Now, they are also saying in the question that the volume in the radius of the sphere are increasing at the same numerical rate. So it means that the rate of the volume is the same to that one of the radius, which is 9. But because this is volume, the unit will be centimeter cube per second. Now, how can we find the radius? And what do we know? We know that the volume of a sphere equals to 4 pi r cubic divided by 3. So we will derive the volume with respect to the radius. So we'll have here the derivative of the volume with respect to the radius as 12, when you take 3 multiplied by 4, 12 pi r squared, you subtract from the 3, 1, this is a power rule, divided by 3. Now the 3 will cancel out with the 12 to give us 4. So we will have here dv over dr as 4 pi r squared.
Now how can we get the radius? What do we know? We know that dv over dt equals to dr over dt multiplied by dv over dr. Let's just substitute the values. dv over dt is 9 equals to dr over dt which is 9 multiplied by dv over dr which is 4 pi r squared. Now to get the radius, we will divide by 4 pi both sides. And we will also divide by 9 both sides. So this will cancel out. And the 9 and the 9 will cancel out. So you'll have here the radius squared equals to 9 divided by 9 multiplied by 4 pi. So the 9 and the 9 will cancel out. And you'll finally get the radius when you take square root both sides. 1 over 4 pi in square root. Now when you calculate this, you'll get the radius as 0 0.28029 centimeters.